Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to tell you, because you're all basically hypnotherapists, so you've got the option later on if you want to use, use the protocol that you can, what the purpose is. I'm actually going to tell you what the features are about it. When I created it, I wasn't really creating it consciously as, I mean, I created it consciously as a hip. Oh, here's Claire. Yeah, so when I, when I created it, I did it sort of, uh, I wanted to create a hypnotic, a hypnotic protocol, but I wasn't really thinking uh, that much about the features of it. But having created it, I've been like, look at it, oh, that's what I've done there, and that's what I've done there. And I can, um, I'm using some like NLP, there's some NLP stuff and the protocol comes from, it's got two strands to it. It is, it is a powerful protocol. It's one for confidence. It's one designed to enable you to, you know, if it uses features like, here's Suzanne, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I shouldn't have started because now they're going to, they're going to miss the, they're going to miss the, the important shit. All right. Okay. Do you, do you mind if I start again to explain to the people that the, the late comers, the late comers? Laura, I got a quick question for you. Yeah, go on. If you would like, I, if you want to make me a co-host, I can let people in so you don't get interrupted anymore. Oh, Barry, would you? That would be amazing. How do I do that? Actually, that? I just, yeah, just give you, do you know what? That would, that would be great. Okay. Laura, I'm so sorry. I've been here since before seven trying to it's not access acceptable. the Zoom. I know. That's it. Detention. Detention. I thought you were, you were a friend. <laughs> I <laughs> was. To, to try and make, make me nervous and fuck it up. Did it work? <laughs> it did. No. Um, so, Barry, um, sorry, how do I make you co host? Uh, I, I think you go to the participant list and then click on my name and then it ah, gives you the, actually give you the option. Barry, thank you. That, that would be great. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, th that might be it, but at least I'm, I'm I'll, I'll, yeah. Okay, so you are now co-host. Co it should be all right. I don't know if anyone else will come, but. I got it. So so, so from, from now on, anybody that comes in new, just ignore them, I'll take care of them. Okay, thank okay. you very much. All right, okay. So uh, Suzanne and Wendy and Claire just come in. Um, I'll just, I was just going to explain that because pretty much what well, you are all, all hypnotherapists, um, Obviously, if we're working with a client, we wouldn't give them the the mechanics of it. We wouldn't say this is how it's going to work on you because it might actually depotentiate it. Um, that's not the case for you because we can all go into hypnosis, understand the mechanics and still experience the power of it, which is what I want. But I want you to understand it just in case you want to use it. Um, so, so with this uh, protocol, it's for confidence. It's for stepping into a, a different place. Um, utilizing your own skills in the past utilizing all the things that you've done at some point that you have perhaps lost touch at touch with um so things like you know if anything that makes you feel confident or you know raise your self-esteem or your talents or your artistic endeavors whatever they are your your creativity this protocol is really designed to sort of get you at, to access those um when i created it i didn't do it entirely consciously um, but having looked back, I can tell you the roots of where, where it came from. So the first part of the history, I'm going to give you the history and then what the features are. And then we're going to do the protocol. So the history, the first, it's got two strands of this protocol. The first one is when I was a comedian. So this is going back to like 20 years ago. When I first started doing stand up, um, I would obviously be going to pubs and clubs or whatever. And I was I got I got uh, into this little like, like category for auditioning for like this like it's called Avalon. So Avalon are a massive big uh, company that market the upcoming comedians. So like with new new acts, new talent, and they sponsor them and they send them all around the. Laura, you're you're on mute, Laura. How long have I been on, on mute for? Just for one second, that was me. Sorry. Oh shit! Thank, I, I, fuck you! I thought I'd been talking no, for no, like no, fifteen you're, minutes. No, you were muted for like ten seconds, not even. <laughs> okay, all right. So that's all right. So, what, what was the last thing I said, Anne or Barry or someone? What was the last thing I said? Just so I don't... about Avalon. All right. Yeah. So, 
um, yeah, so so these big gigs, so it was a massive gig. It was, you know, it was probably about 22, there was a university gig, and I'd done a few gigs. Obviously, I'd had gigs already where I was doing really well and I had gigs already where I was, you know, died. So I, so I knew and this was a massive big gig for me, and I was really, really scared. And I was driving, it was in Portsmouth, and there was, uh, you know, I knew there was, two, there was two, 300 people, and I was really nervous. And in the car on the way up, I was listening to this uh, Prodigy track, which is putting on an iron shirt, and I would sing it, but <laughs> I can't. It's like, do, do you know the, the tune, putting on an iron shirt? Down to that, like, that outer space, that one, that, can, you, can you remember it? Is that enough? No, I didn't tell you I could sing, did I? <laughs> right, so, yeah, so, so there's a Prodigy tune, and I was just oh yeah, putting on an iron shirt. And it was like, so it was almost like an auto go. So I put on that iron shirt and I went and I did the gig and it was great. And I got and I got selected to do like top 12 in Avalon. So that's like a big, big, big thing for me. And the gig was a massive thing. There was like going to you know, Edinburgh Festival and 2,000 people. So that that iron shirt harnessed that confidence for me. So similar, you may recognize. Um, I'm trying to think like the dock of the bay where or alter ego. So where you got that NLP alter ego and you step in and you step into a place. So that kind of harnessed that. Obviously, I didn't know hypnosis at the time, but um, all the stuff we do, we do, you know, some of it's common sense, isn't it? And and some observation about what makes us feel good. That's the first strand. So the second, then years later. So obviously, as most of you know who know me, um, I spent 20 years doing teaching dreams were forgotten trodden on along the way uh lots of struggle ensued lots of confidence issues along the way obviously not completely i've had you know i've written books in that time I've written written stuff i've had but you know but you know having being a mum and having children you can really sort of lose belief in, in what you want to do and where you want to go i can write a book as long as it doesn't affect anything else going on around me so which is quite quite tough so when i wanted to stop teaching and doing hypnosis and I'd already started doing hypnosis there's lots of struggle with confidence and this is where obviously the protocol where I really kind of like want want it to be used so I'm struggling with with confidence I know that I've, I know that I'm really good at hypnosis but at the same time is how can I do I have the confidence to really sort of like take a chance leave my job you know everything just everything's in the balance so I started um, this protocol sort of writing this protocol and obviously I had the iron shirt idea but I also started writing called the golden thread and it's about timeline and that's how i started writing it it's all about timeline and writing this golden thread for all your all the all the memories that you've had all the wonderful things that you've done or, the, or that i've done weaving in and then i remembered the story in the bible joseph and the dream coat the technical dream coat and it came to me because like a lot of a lot of my protocols some of them are coming from literature or dreams and some of them come from the old testament well, the old testicles i'm not actually religious but those first nine years uh like when it's getting like hebrew indoctrination those that shit goes in deep and one of those dreams is the joseph and the dream coat and it's a great story uh obviously joseph is jacob's favorite son and you know that, that, like like all jewish good jewish families you have a favorite and you make it very obvious <laughs> and um uh, so Jacob was a favorite son. Uh, Joseph was a favorite son. So um, and he's, he's got 12 sons and he makes him this beautiful, amazing coat, this wonderful coat. And again, you can't help but make the link between Dock of the Bay if you've done the NLP where you've got the three people uh, and they come out and they give they give you a gift, a gift of wisdom, a gift of, you know, whatever it is. So so I can see the links there. Also, free wise, free wise men in Jesus, they come with gifts. So some of this stuff is deeply rooted in sort of like a universal consciousness, isn't it? That we can access this like really ancient wisdom. And Jewish mysticism has got so much ancient wisdom to it. Anyway, so Joseph's dream. Code, that, so that's kind of the influence of how, ah, and I sort of changed the protocol a bit because I had the golden thread. So that's the two, that's really where the two threads from alter ego, both which is NLP and Joseph's dream coat, which again is putting something on. And the idea is someone, someone who loves you, someone, you know, whether it's love, it's a person or a spirit that we can access, something that's going to resonate with you has created this gift for you. And in which case it's me and I do, I love all of you. I genuinely do. So, so it is, it's a gift, but you can make this gift come from whoever you need it to come through. And the other thing that I want you to do today to make this really effective is create an anchor. So the the um, the protocol uses during the protocol, I'm going to ask you to do something which is an anchor, 
which you know the coat when you put the coat on it's going to be an anchor anyway but you can use something else okay as well I'm going to start in a minute and I'm going to start off with um an anchor actually suppose this is really from Laurie Hammond which I really like so she always used to start Transy Tuesdays with her with a hand on her heart and that that will work really well to start off with and actually do you know what let's let's just do that now so everyone can get uh into the zone so if you just put your hand on your heart okay and just just close your eyes for a moment and just get comfortable okay I'd just like you just to connect for a moment with your heart. I just noticed mine's really beating actually. So yeah, just 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 feel the beat. You don't need to change it. Just notice it, and just understand that you're somewhere safe. And I'm really honoured to have you here, each and every one of you. And because most of your healers, you're open, well, your healers, just allow yourself to feel safe right now and just um, open your heart. And understand that each one of you is beautiful. And each one of you here is incredible and beautiful and everyone that's not here is a wanker. That's a joke, but you will have an incredible experience today and experience that real surge of confidence. So just be here right now and just breathe. And one of the things I really did love about uh, Laurie Hammond's group, and Laurie Hammond, in fact, apart from her amazing ability to encourage others, is the way that she get everyone in the group to connect to one another at the beginning of each session. So I'd like to borrow that for this and just think of one person in this group who you'd like to you know, throw some light and love towards. And uh, I think you pretty much all know someone, but if you don't know anyone, just choose a face, someone who looks a bit desperate. Or lovely. And just allow yourself to be filled with a sense of power and motivation. And as you send your love their way, their your love that's right your love their way just because you know that you can't actually send love unless you feel it so that love is incredibly healing and let that flicker of love be experienced all through your body from head to toe that's right And only when your con unconscious mind is ready to experience something profound today. So I really want you to think about something you really, really want in your life. You want to achieve, you want to achieve creatively, emotionally, some, some change that perhaps you've just been reflecting about. Just consider it right now. And only when your unconscious mind is ready to experience something profound today and allow you to make the shift and you can open your eyes and feel amazing you can open your eyes in case you didn't hear me all right okay good so yeah so that really what i want you to do is just have something in mind to, to make a change that's so that's what i've used this protocol for for myself to make a change to allow me to have a confidence to move out of something that I've been bored with and I'd wasted way too long in. Um, so this protocol has, has helped me. It's not the only thing that helped me, you know, people, great people, having great people around me has helped me. Some of you here, friends that support, um, but you know, it's, it's important as well, you know, yeah, you know, you know, you know who your support places are, but this, protocol is powerful um it's tapping into some really universal stuff um and that's really what i want you to tap into today so if you're ready we'll we'll do we'll do it okay so um let's do hand to face um just put your hand about three inches away from your face with a 
fingers pointing away from you. Make it make your hand nice and relaxed. That's right. Okay, great. And just focus on that um, and a line or a spot on your the back of your hand. So Petra, just if you just put it um, just like that. So it's fingers are pointing that way. So it's just in front of your face. Okay, and that's right. Just just focus on a line or a spot as though you've you've never seen it before. Just really notice it. And as you notice it, you can become aware of sensations in your hand, perhaps somewhere else in your body. Perhaps you can become aware of how certain awareness expands through your body. Perhaps you can feel the sensations of your breathing colors and your mind's eye. It's almost as if you've never seen that hand before. And that hand of yours has always been there since you were born. That hand has been a part of you. And that hand, that hand is attached to your unconscious mind. And right now it's your unconscious mind that I'm speaking to each and every one of you, your unconscious mind. Because as you know, the conscious mind, we have a conscious mind, we have an unconscious mind, and the conscious mind is that part of us that we can concentrate on five, six, seven things at a time. Whereas your unconscious mind expands beyond all of that. The chords, every thought, every feeling, every sound, every experience on some deeper level And today you're going to use the powers of your unconscious mind to really have an experience, to really go somewhere deep where you can access some resources that are going to enable you to make some shifts today and experience great confidence. So when your unconscious mind is ready to allow you to experience a very deep trance, I would like your hand to begin to turn. So the fingers begin to turn towards the face. That's right. And sometimes it just starts off with a twitch and some of you are already there. And sometimes it's just move a bit more slowly and whatever you do is perfect for you. Just allow your unconscious mind to take you there when it's ready. With every breath you take, that's right. Unconscious mind takes you there. Sometimes it's just a one movement like that and sometimes it flickers and jolts. Because your unconscious mind has a mind of its own. And that's a wonderful thing that it can take you there and you let it take you there to go somewhere deep, somewhere profound, somewhere you want to go, you're happy to be led to. That's right. Fingers twitching, moving around, moving towards your face. That's right. And when your face does make contact with your forehead, or perhaps your forehead will make contact with your fingers, I want you just to close your eyes if you're not already closed and just go deeper and let your unconscious mind take you to that space, that place where you can unlock some incredible power, where you're going to breathe in some incredible power from your past, from your experiences, from your stories your memories, from your feelings, from your sounds, from your life. You're going to unlock all of that power that you have in your hands, in your fingertips, in your body, in your cells, in every part of you, because you are incredible. Each one of you is incredible. Incredible healers, spiritually open, expansive, connected. Let that hand go all the way to your forehead. Or make contact in a way that tells you it's okay to let yourself go deeply now. That's right.
that's right you're doing wonderfully each and every one of you and I'd like you to imagine a time long ago when you remember learning something important and if your hand's uncomfortable Louise you can just drop that hand down all the way down now that's right and just allow yourself to go deeper same for you Petra and Kesh if you just let your hand drop and allow yourself to become even more relaxed even more comfortable knowing that you're safe you're sound However, you can let your hand drop and make sure that you allow yourself to go all the way down now. That's right. And you imagine this time long ago when you remember learning something important on a very deep level. And perhaps this learning is coded deeply inside of you because it has an image or a feeling. It could even be a smell or a colour. Because our unconscious mind remembers things in ways which are unique to us. And some people believe that our unconscious minds are all linked to one another. And we're all linked together here, right now here, like stars in the galaxy. Or a super speed highway, lots of interconnected roads joining us together as one. And if we allow ourselves to really relax and access your highest wisdom, we can tune our intuitive antennae into the super consciousness of space and time. This is why sometimes, even before the days of the internet, or travel by boats, planes, trains, or cars, amazing art bearing striking similarity in theme, idea, or color could be produced by two different artists simultaneously who've never seen one another's work. So whatever you believe about your unconscious mind, or it's just a part of your mind that remembers everything that ever happened to you, every feeling, smell, experience and thought, However you believe, it's even more powerful than that. It contains all the wisdom in this life of yours. All the learnings, as well as the wisdom and learning from past lives you may have had. However you believe, the unconscious mind is your mind alone. There to control your breathing, your heart rate, and the way you release hormones to let yourself unwind more deeply now. Let your unconscious mind remember a time when you learned something so powerfully, so deeply about your abilities. And when you woke back up to reality, or rather, when you awoke into reality, you were filled with an immense confidence. Your powerful unconscious mind was able to draw great energy that enables you to move towards your goals and succeed in what you most want to do. And as you see clearly the thing you most want to achieve in this life right now, let your conscious mind drift off. Now, as your unconscious mind takes you to a place, a wonderful place, that you've never been to before, although perhaps you have been there. Perhaps you've been there many times, possibly in a dream, possibly in a different life. It really doesn't matter to you, to your unconscious mind. What matters is that you know that sometime, some place, either in your past or future, there is someone who loves you utterly, deeply, Everything you are, your frailties, imperfections, as well as your strengths and abilities. It's not that they don't see them, it's that all the more loving, you're all the more loving for them. Those complexities, all of you. And you can get a sense of that person now 
Perhaps this person is someone you've known, but is no longer here. Perhaps it's someone who's never been here before and you've imagined them, manifested them from whispers and fragments of love weaved together, like some patchwork beating heart. Perhaps this could be a spiritual presence. It is, however, a spirit who loves you powerfully, a person, a spirit. Perhaps this person gets their power from some kind of spirituality, perhaps from a faith, or perhaps this is a person that takes great strength from a connection to nature. You just get a sense of that person in the water, and you can feel them in the trees. You can hear them through the wind as it sweeps between the mountains, or move sand into dunes. This person whose face you can imagine now is standing high on the mountain with their arms held upwards to the sky, ready to absorb great love, ready to receive abundance and energy. Feel that energy flow. You know this is someone who is very strong, someone who has cared for you, protected you, been a light in your life guiding you on the course that's most in line with your highest intentions. And sometimes this person seems so ordinary, like a parent or grandparent, someone you have known all your life. But other times this person has appeared to you as extraordinary, deeply wise. And once upon a time, this person who you love profoundly, this person who has been there always to protect and guide you, beckons you. I have something for you. A wonderful gift. It's just for you. Are you ready to receive it? You can nod and let me know. And this person beckons you into a forest which is found at the base of a mossy hill. And you are led towards a huge tree where you find a door. And inside the tree, you open the door, and inside that tree, you find a beautiful room made of wood and thyme. And you're led to a room which has been built within the base of this enormous tree. And as you watch, the person who's brought you here, you become aware of a sound, of a clock ticking. Time, your time, your time is now. So relax and sink into this moment, be here now. In the center, of the room is a wooden workbench which is covered with square patches of fabric, beautiful fabric that looks like it will be soft to the touch. Close to the fabric are many wheels of cotton, all white, and a, almost like a terracotta tub. And the person who you love turns reassuringly, it's all going to be okay, you know. They say to you, and you remember a comfortable feeling as you smile. And that comfortable feeling magnifies through your body. That's right. And you see the person whose face you can now see. And it seems to change in front of you. And instead of the person you knew, you see some kind of wizard. At least you think that's what it is. The wizard smiles as you in and introduces you. My name is Andromeda, and I've come here because you've called. You may not know that you've called, but believe me, you have, and I've answered. And although you can sense Andromeda's power, you know she's good and compassionate, and so you let yourself relax and become warm and even more comfortable and find that you're able to relax completely. And as she has such a beautiful, soulful eyes, kind and speaks in a gentle sort of whisper, 
that reminds you of the way that the wind moves in between the trees. And you let yourself be surprised and let go of expectation so you can be here now with her. I love you very much, she says. And you don't know if the words, if it's the words of Andromeda or the person who guides you there, but you realize it doesn't matter because there is love. And you can feel love and you have felt love or imagined love, have you not? And you can feel that love now expand through your body. And Andromeda moves towards the workbench. And you watch her as she gathers all the fabric into a neat pile. And the way she moves, you can tell she's very particular. She gathers all the little reels of white cotton in her hand and smiles at you. The way a mother would smile at a child baking with her in the kitchen. And she laughs gently. Don't worry. Don't worry, it's still me, she says. It's always been me. Don't be afraid. By my appearance has always been me. And I will always, always be here to guide you. You stand watching Transfix as you go even more deeply into trance. And it's hard to believe that what your eyes are telling you. And yet you do believe Andromeda chuckles and picks up one of the terracotta bowls of water and says, tell me your dream. Tell me what you most want to do with this precious time on this earth, this time. This time now. Tell me now as you breathe gently into the water. And you can even make a breath as you breathe that. Breathe that dream into the water now and feel it. See the colours. I want you to see it clearly in detail. Now, what are you doing? What does it look like? What does it sound like? What does it feel like? Are you seeing yourself and you see yourself clearly being happy, looking how you want to look, talking and walking the way you want to be, feeling the joy that you will feel doing the thing you most want to do? being surrounded by the people who nourish and protect you. Breathe into the water. And the water changes colour and it becomes gold. And Jormita smiles as she sinks just for a moment, marvelling at the moment at the richness of the colour that you've made. And she's awed at your dazzling brilliance. Wow. That's bright. That's so bright. And she takes from the spools of silk thread and drops into the large clear tub of water. And she swirls it around. Letting the water make that sound as she swirls it again and again, feeling the nice sensation of the water. And when she lifts the white cotton reel out of the bowl, it too is bright, gold and glittering like the stars in the universe. And as you look at it, some part of you is filled with an urge to smile with joy. And you can feel that joy now. And you remember a time when you felt so joyful. And when you look at the colour, you feel it again. Thank you, says Andromeda. You have done me such a kindness in experiencing this because... You take me with you. You take me with you. Are you ready for this one, she says. She picks up another bowl of clear water. Tell me where you felt most confident. A time where you accomplished something you were proud of. Something that had meaning and purpose to you. It doesn't have to be huge in any way. It's just a feeling that contains the magic. And that thing could be when you're a child and you're experiencing, you're riding a bike and you get that first sensation where you're, you're on your own and you've got the balance and that sense of, wow, that freedom. It could be that. It could be something as small as that or it could be something big. Something that fills you with confidence. Something which you recognize as being some kind of milestone in your discovery of your own amazing abilities, talents uniqueness or ability to feel. You decide what is you most 
what your unconscious mind most needs to recall and remember. And see that time, that event, see all the richness of the detail. Where were you? What, was anyone with you? What does it sound like, feel like? Can you imagine it now? She asks. And you imagine it clearly as you feel it, as you get a sense of it. And as you get a sense of it, you can use that anchor or put your finger on your thumb together. Rest, put your hands back on your heart, whatever feels right for you right now. And as you hold the bowl of water, of clear water, just under your nose, and as you imagine it and breathe into all the water changes from clear to a beautiful, rich red. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Look how red you've turned it. Andromeda drops another white cotton, excited. She puts a reel into the water. When she lifts it up, the reel becomes a deep, rich red with all the memories that you've breathed into it. Your memories that your unconscious mind has held on to, knowing that someday they were going to be so valuable to you, ready to be unleashed. Andromeda is so excited and she manages now with getting somewhere as she holds the third bowl in front of you. Paint a picture in your mind of a time you felt incredibly, incredibly loved. And if you do not have a sense of that from your past, go into the future and know that there is love there for you. And you are beautiful and worthy of giving love and receiving it. And as you stand in front of the bowl, breathing into it, you imagine yourself surrounded by love, feeling incredible love, feeling trust at such a core level, feeling whatever you need to do to feel for your expression of love. And as you breathe, the water becomes an incredible mixture of colors, silver, white, purple, green, yellow. Oh, wow, that's what I want. You're so close, so close to where you want to go. You must keep moving. Keep moving. She takes your hand and strokes it gently. You know, I'll always love you, she said, with every stitch, every stitch of my heart. And you watch her as she sinks each square of fabric into the various coloured bowls until the fabric seems ablaze with beautiful, dazzling colours. And the bowl that has been filled with love turns all the fabric a slightly different shade each time. You will always be surrounded by love, she says. And then she sits down with all the squares, all the patches of fabric, and begins to stitch the squares together with the different coloured thread. And as she stitches, you can see a beam coming from her heart like a fragmented gold dust. Love, magic, power, connecting to the thread which she uses to stitch all the way through your timeline, all the way through the fabrics, each stitch patched together. And after one minute, one day, one month, one year, 100 years from now, or perhaps 100 years ago, Andromeda completes the most beautiful, dazzling coat you've ever seen, a coat of extraordinary colour. And she smiles. I have to go now, she says. I hope you love it. And the person who brought you here reappears in her place as though, they, though they'd never left. And perhaps they hadn't. The person who you brought here picks up the beautiful coat as though they'd been there the whole time. I want you to have this. I want you to wear it. I want you to wear it when you most need it. Wear it to feel empowered. Wear it to feel motivated. Wear it to know love both of yourself and of others. Wear it to feel strong. Wear it to feel confident. Wear it to feel powerful. And know you have everything you need to achieve your goals and move confidently towards your dreams. And you take the coat and notice how beautiful the fabric is, how beautiful it's been stitched. The colours seem to change subtly as you move around in the light. And you can imagine yourself putting it on now, stepping into it, stepping into that coat. And just feel that confidence. 
experience the sensations, experience the sensation of love that you saw and felt as it connects to every cell in your body, every piece of fiber in your being connecting with you. Imagine that thread running all the way through your timeline, through your memories and into the future you. Wear that coat, knowing that the changes become installed deeply inside of you. You can feel and see the colors as you feel connected to all the wonderful things you've done in your life. Everything that you are, which has brought you to this place. All the accomplishments, big and small. With this coat on, you can see yourself clearly in the future, one week from now, feeling confident as you continue to move towards your goal. What are the small things that you are doing one month from now as you've been wearing this coat and walking around in it? Six months from now as you can experience the joy of knowing that this coat, you have protection of consistently and confidently move towards your goals. A year from now, as you can see yourself standing in front of your dazzling coat, and you want to sing with joy because you've had so much fun getting to that place. And you look so beautiful. You look so peaceful. And five years from now, you're standing on top of that mountain, empowered, accomplished, happy with joy and love in your heart. And you know that this coat is yours. It's been made for you and you can wear it whenever you need to remember how to feel amazing. How to feel good. And you can know that any time you need to in the future, any time you wish to feel empowered, all you simply have to do is step into this coat. Step into the coat when you need to. But now you can almost take it off, knowing that when you wake up in the morning, when you want to feel motivated, just put that coat on. Decide what you want to do. How are you going to begin and begin to start moving towards those goals, those dreams, those feelings? And this is, coat is an anchor, an anchor that you simply have to put on. Imagine yourself wearing it. Wear it. Allow your unconscious mind to just remember how it feels. And you must remember to use your power wisely and put your coat somewhere where you can easily access it whenever you need to wear it, whenever you need to feel empowered and confident. And only when your unconscious mind has really truly installed all of my suggestions so that my words become your reality and these suggestions you're going to act on immediately joyfully when every cell every neuron every atom inside of your body has fully memorized these suggestions and you can come back on the count of five, bringing all that sense of joy and confidence, peace, vitality, all the way back to the surface with you on the count of five. One, two, finger energy returning to your hands and fingers. Three, a rush of creativity, energy and confidence. Four, feeling amazing, eyes opening, wide awake. Five. Hey everyone. Oh, what, Wendy? I've lost Wendy. Oh. Thank you. That was lovely. You're really welcome. Enjoyed it. Good. You're very welcome. So good, Lara. Really nice. I'm glad. Who said that? I can't actually. Oh, Marie. Marie. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, really that good. Was Brilliant. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, yeah, just use it. I was thinking because you're all hypnotized, you'd actually go, you do, you'd actually get up and put it on, but you didn't. <laughs> no, yeah. no one did. 
uh, yeah you know like the um i don't know if, if you, any of you know the swish thing when you do this do, you, do any of you use the swish yes yeah uh but yeah i don't know physically uh, it's always good if you actually i don't know if you actually do it did any of you feel the coat on you yes yeah, yes. yeah i did and it just kind of i didn't have to put it on it just kind of grew up my arm and oh boom. nice <laughs> that's really nice yeah uh i want to talk about something else because you're supposed to just let it settle aren't you it's like, it's like distract you but you know how do you distract like 18 people all at the same time um claire you all right i don't actually think i are you there claire and Richard, I never said hello to you when you came in. Are you there? Hello. Thanks for coming because you came a bit later. So I didn't. I don't think I acknowledged you coming in. And or, or you, Claire. Nice. Thank you for coming. By the way, it was lovely. Thank you. And oh, you're welcome. Hope. You're welcome. That's good. Um, I think there's like, who's who's came last time. Is it just you, Dion? That's been here twice. Been twice. Has anyone come before? Yeah. Yeah. You go. Oh, yeah, Anne as well. Yeah. Um, and I did. Did you? Would you? Yeah. Would you do me a favour? If I give you a link, could you leave a review for me? Yeah, if sure. You've done it because you obviously you've, you've actually done it before. Obviously, not not people have just done it, but um, only once you've uh, gone away and then you've had like this amazing like productivity and like a trays of glory behind you. <laughs> like then you can you can uh, you can leave a review. Um, That's only a suggestion, eh? Pardon. It's only a suggestion. It's only a suggestion, exactly. Only a suggestion. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I, I've got to, I've got to say, since the last time we did it, I have seen a lot of changes. Really, really, you know, I think that the, the trouble is with with what we do is that, you know, it's easy to say, well, yeah, it just happened anyway. You know, <laughs> it's true. I'd like to say, yeah, it's due to due to me. Your 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 podcast has been even better. <laughs> be yeah, I mean, I mean <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. that'll be that'll be 50 yeah. percent. <laughs> yeah no it's really good i mean you know actually if, yeah james winkle who wasn't here he said he's done, he's been really really productive since then as well i mean the thing is we've got so much much good input coming in all of us haven't we from all the people and all the, the stuff that we're surrounded by um but you can never have too much good stuff um to, yeah i'm glad you said that anyway did anyone i didn't i forgot to ask you to share but, anything that you wanted to do i was going to get you to write in the chat does anyone actually want to share anything that they wanted to do like goals wise or dream wise you don't have to Dion, did you have anything more that you want like you've got you're working on well i no, I only really to i mean I, I would say it feels really good i was thinking beforehand it just feels like i'm on, on the right track i mean i was right. saying to kesh many a time i don't know what where, where i sit with this hypno business and I absolutely feel that this whole recording and the YouTube in that's where that's that's where right. I'm that's where I'm more comfortable. Excellent. So there are goals, but it's more into. It, it, but I feel like I'm on that track now. Excellent, that's amazing. You know, so you are. Yeah. You're right. yeah. <laughs> uh. yeah. Anyone else got any? They want to share anything that they want to do. No. How are you, Mandy? Are you going back to sleep or are you actually getting up? Are you is it morning or night? <laughs> <laughs> you do are you going back to sleep now? Or are you getting up? I can't work out whether the uh, <coughs> is it bedtime or up time. It's the morning. I'm gonna get up and go to oh. my other job. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's I, know. A shame. I know, but it's a really nice way to start the day. A Monday. It's really yeah. nice. Can we well, do this every yeah. Monday? Yeah, <laughs> well, I'll, I'll try and do at least, I will try and do a monthly one. Oh, yeah, yeah I'll be there. Yeah, thank you. It was great. Oh, you're welcome. I oh, really felt the coat that. when I put it on too. I really felt the weight of it. It felt really, um, but weighted in a really lovely way. Like a, I felt really safe in the coat. That's so I look good. forward to being so productive. Yeah, how it is. All right, yeah, Emma, yeah. good point. She wants to go before process it, and I don't, I don't really want to ruin it. I want you to let all process it, actually, anyway. So I will stop talking. And thank you all very much for coming. I, I genuinely feel really honoured to have you all here. Um, so thank you. And, uh, yeah, see you, <laughs> see you everywhere. Thanks, Lara. Thanks, Lara. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Lara. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. You're welcome. Bye.